Good afternoon, fans, and welcome to the virtual Senior Day Ceremony for the Haverford College Women's Lacrosse Class of 2020. The Haverford College Women's Lacrosse Class of 2020 combined for 33 wins and a pair of berths in the Centennial Conference Tournament during their four years at Haverford. The Fords advanced to the Centennial Conference semifinals during a memorable 2019 season that also saw the team post a pair of ranked wins, including the highest-ranked win in program history over number 3 TCNJ. The Fords entered the national rankings on several occasions throughout that season. This class has combined for five all-conference awards and three IWLCA All-Metro Region honors. Last season, Haverford was named the winner of the prestigious IWLCA Academic Merit Squad Award, awarded to the women's lacrosse team in all of Division Three with the highest overall team GPA. In addition to that special academic award, the team has also earned the IWLCA Academic Squad Award in each season that this senior class has been on campus. In each of this class's four seasons, the Fords have led the Centennial Conference in overall, overall honorees on the Centennial Conference honor roll. Our first senior today is Eliza Broskall. Broskall joined the Fords from Scarsdale, New York, and made an immediate impact with eight goals in her first year campaign. A member of the Centennial Conference Honor Roll in each season of eligibility for that award, she had a flair for the dramatic with a game winner in the final seconds against Dickinson in the first round of the Centennial Conference Tournament in 2019. This season, she started strong with four goals through the first five games. The economics major ranks in the top 20 in Haverford program history in draw controls per game and free position goals. Here now with a special message for Eliza is junior Haley Morris. Eliza is just one of those players that goes all out 100% of the time. I can't even count the number of times I've showed up to practice and she's already been on the field running or getting extra reps in. Um, not only is she a super hard worker, but her smile is infectious and she always knows how to cheer up her teammates. One of my favorite memories playing with Eliza is when she scored a sick no angle goal, literally behind the goal against Black. Uh, we all know that I'm not great at physics, but that I didn't follow any physics property or law that I've ever learned. Um, not to mention that she made me cry tears of joy when she came in clutch and scored the game winner against Dickinson. She's such a great player and we're all really lucky to have gotten to play with her. Our second senior is Olivia DeRienz. Tyrians had a fantastic start to the 2020 season with eight goals and three assists through five games. A member of the Centennial Conference Academic Honor Roll in each season of eligibility for that award, she became known as a force on the draw throughout the region. Tyrians helped the Fords to consecutive berths in the Centennial Conference Tournament and ranks fourth in program history with 2.41 draw controls per contest. She is sixth in total draw controls in program history with 135. The economics major recorded 53 draw controls during the 2018 season, which was the third most in program history. Here now with a special message for Olivia is junior Isabel Canning. So Olivia has always been a consistent powerhouse on the field, whether it's taking drives to go on offense, being a strong factor on defense, or winning those critical draws off the circle. She is an incredible role model, not only because of her skill, athleticism, and work ethic, but also because of her maturity. Our underclassmen describe her as a mother hen figure that always made them feel accepted. Despite being one of the most level-headed people on our team, she was also the first to download TikTok and has dragged her brother into several videos. We will miss her voice of reason, especially when we, Haley, have lost our gear from the 15th time and accused everyone but ourselves of losing it slash stealing it. Her dedication and tenacity was on full display when she committed at least eight hours to a vintage trivia game we found during spring break. It did not let up until she got on the leaderboard. We hope that she walks away with not only a weird amount of random knowledge centered around the early 90s, but also knowing that she has left this team a lot better than how she found it. Our third senior today is Maeve Gaffney. Gaffney joined the Fords from Barrington, Rhode Island, and became a stalwart in the midfield during her first year campaign, seeing time in all 16 contests that season. She was named an honorable mention all-centennial conference selection during the 2019 season, proving to be a vital two-way threat for the Fords, registering 28 goals, 5 assists, 32 draw controls, 17 cause turnovers, and 18 ground balls. The psychology major ranks 7th in Haverford's program history with 20 free position goals. 
Here now with a message for the Haverford co-captain is Junior Haley Morris. Maeve is the person you look to when you need to score a goal in under five seconds and also the person you look to when you need a good laugh. She has such a good heart and truly cares for every person she gets to know. I can say that I laugh at almost everything she says and uh, I truly never have a dull moment with her. A fun fact about Maeve is that she is fearless except in the presence of gluten. My favorite memory of Maeve is when we were all getting ready to go to Italy and 12 hours before our flight, she realized her passport was expired. In true Maeve fashion, she somehow got on that plane and then spent the entire 10 hour plane ride pranking the rest of the group, acting like she had missed her flight. Our fourth senior today is Emily Krupnik. Hailing from Mountain Lakes, New Jersey, Krupnik instantly became a standout on the back line for the Fords, appearing in all 16 games during her first season on campus. In total, she's appeared in all 56 of Haverford's games during her tenure at Haverford. A co-captain this season, she picked up honorable mention all centennial honors at the end of 2019, after posting 37 ground balls and 17 caused turnovers that year. The political science major has twice been named to the Centennial Conference's honor roll, and was recently named the Centennial Conference's Player of the Week after a pair of standout defensive performances against Albright and Scranton. Here now with a special message for Emily is junior Courtney Cubbin. Emily always gives 100% into games and practices, including when she falls. She always knows how to get her teammates hyped up, is a great competitor, always shows up, and is a true kid at heart. She not only gives us sick calls, turnovers, and ground balls, but she also sends us her packing list before team trips. Um, and important things to note on this list include Banana and Tootie, her stuffed animals, her Jack Rogers sandals, and Lily Poulter shorts. Oh, and if there was room for Sister Juge, she definitely would have been on the list too. We will miss Emily's loud cheering and overall hype, especially during continuity meters, early celebrations of amazing wins, and maybe even her wings. Our fifth senior today is Tatiana Lathion. Joining the Fords from the shores of Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, she traded in Jacksonville's weather for Haverford and instantly adjusted with 13 appearances during that rookie campaign. Her 3.77 saves per contest during the 2017 season ranks within the top 20 in Haverford program history. She posted her career best in saves during that initial season, stopping nine shots against Gettysburg back on April 15, 2017. In total, she has appeared in 21 games, scooped up 15 ground balls, and made 57 career saves. Developing a knack for acrobatic saves, she consistently fires up her teammates with highlight reel stoppages. Here now with a special message for Tatiana is junior Amelia Slade. Tati is an unreal player. Um, she makes the craziest saves and is always unnaturally casual about them. Some of our teammates described her as a total weight room warrior, so down to earth, she has the cutest laugh, and she always knows how to lift people up. One of my favorite memories of Tati is when she had just come back from abroad. We walk into the weight room for the first team lift, and she broke the school deadlift record with 360 pounds. And then she was formally invited to train to be an Olympic powerlifter. I think something we can all relate to is that she, does, she still doesn't have any of our contacts saved in her phone, but we all deep down know that we're all saved in her heart. Our next senior followed in the footsteps of her older sister Serena to join the Fords from Comac, New York. She instantly made her presence felt on the Swanfield turf as she became known as a pinpoint passer with 37 assists during her first year season. She followed that up with 34 more helpers as a junior and exploded to the tune of 64 assists during the 2019 season. During that illustrious season, she overtook the Haverford program record for assists in both a career and a single season. She currently ranks at the top of the assists and assists per game leaderboard in Haverford history with 151 and 2.75 per game, respectively. To help put that 64 assist season in perspective, her 37 during her rookie season in 2017 currently ranks second most in program single season history. A second team IWLCA All Metro Region selection a season ago, she was also a second team All Centennial Conference pick. The economics major finished that 2019 season fourth in all of Division Three in total assists. Here now with a special message for Julia is yet another Julia, Julia Pascarella. 
Um, Julia is always there as a shoulder for all her teammates to lean on, both off the field when we barge into her apartment unannounced, and then on the field when we look to her for those insane thread-the-needle feeds. Um, her underclassmen t- teammates described her as a quarterback, a leader on the field, super reliable, and a really competitive spirit. Um, her favorite memory, Jay, was when she would come up and ta- tap each of the other attacker sticks after the other team had scored. She always just kind of like looked us in the eye and told us that we got this and just knowing that someone we look up to had that much confidence in us, despite us making some pretty silly mistakes throughout the game, was really special and showed what an awesome teammate she was. Um, a close second memory would have to be our Mrs. Minetta fashion shows every weekend, which she may claim she didn't enjoy, but deep down we know she loved them very much. Uh, Jay has truly taken this program to the place it is today, and we're all so lucky to have been a part of this team with her. The flatworms are going to miss being pushed by her every day because she really didn't know how to bring out the best in all of us, and we can't thank her enough for that. Our final senior today came to the Fords from Hopewell Junction, New York. Anna Myers emerged as a lockdown defender during her time on campus, becoming nationally known as a can't-miss defensive standout. Her hard work was rewarded as she was announced today as a third-team All-American, according to Inside Lacrosse. That award was the first All-American honor for a Haverford player since Josie Ferry in 2011. Myers made her presence felt against key contributors as she ranks 12th in Haverford history and caused turnovers with 70. During the shortened 2020 season, she added her first two career points with a pair of assists against Albright and set a new career high with five caused turnovers in the eventual finale against St. Mary's of Maryland. Already a two-time first-team All-Centennial Conference and IWLCA All-Metro Region selection, Myers was leading the Centennial Conference in ground balls at the time of the season's hiatus. The economics major was also an academic standout, with a spot on the Centennial Conference academic honor roll in each season of eligibility. Here now with a special message for Anna is junior Amelia Slade. Um, Anna is such a strong and composed leader on defense. She always knows exactly what's going on on the field and how to make it better. Um, Our teammates describe her as selfless, the definition of a leader, and she always has your back and puts the team first. One of my favorite memories of Anna was when we all started to get ready for a country themed event and she practically exploded out of her chair to go grab her cowgirl boots, which she wore. Um, Additionally, Anna is always there to help whether her truck was required or not. How about one more big round of applause for the Haverford College Women's Lacrosse Class of 2020. We would like to thank this special group of seven seniors for all their contributions throughout the last four seasons and wish them well in their future endeavors. We know they will be missed both on and off the field. Thank you again for attending today's virtual ceremony and we ask that you please stay home safely.